this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown if i'm on the mission is you riding like some michelin homie in the kitchen fire stones how he whipping it i be on my michigan blue and yellow vintage it's make a right on michigan 69 too hot for us stick on me like hockey puck i believe unique aka breeze is the one who set up for Kanan to kill Ronnie. And I'ma back it up with some proof that can make my theory really solid. These are some pictures of unique face that I found on the internet, man. The leaks are crazy. And I believe this leak probably came out at the same time as the initial leak, but a lot of people just didn't pay attention to it because they was probably over it. But I have it and I wanted to bring it to y'all. Um, you see his tag with my name a couple of bunch of times and I did that on purpose because content creators be liking to take it i don't mind y'all taking it or i don't mind y'all using it just gonna get my credit or go find it yourself i would be happy if you went and found it yourself you know ronnie gonna see the world like normal people can trust the more i trust you now when they do tv shows movies or anything they don't waste a piece of dialogue everything means something so when i'm sitting back and i'm looking at this and i'm thinking about it it was a reason that canon said he trusts Ronnie more than he trusts him. So what it means is that's letting us know that in order for Kanan to believe that his mom didn't kill Unique and try to take over his drug trade, he's gonna need somebody who he can trust more than her to tell him. And who is the person that you can trust more than anybody to tell you that somebody killed them? The person who they attempted to kill. So if you think about it, who better than Unique to come tell Kanan that Ronnie was the one who tried to kill him and now he's going to be going by Breeze. He killed his own brother. This is the reason right here why you shouldn't practice lying to anybody or practice lying to your kids because it come that moment when you need somebody to believe you and they can't because all you've done is lied every time you spoke to them. She telling him the truth that, you know, Ronnie is the person who killed Unique and it's sad that her son can't trust her because all she ever did was lied and manipulated him all his life. So like I said, it's going to take somebody that Kanan can really trust, Unique, aka Breeze, to come and tell him, look, you hearing it from the horse's mouth. Your mom didn't do this to me. That's not what I heard. I heard it was you that took out me. Put him down, had him Italian, burn him so you could take all his work. Now, right here is where I cracked the code. If we remember, Rock and Stefano have a very close relationship, right? They have a business relationship as well. So if Kanan is running around telling people or with the knowledge, possibly telling people that Stefano is the one who killed Unique, well then that is something that Rock need to go back and relate to Stefano. Now, she may not tell Stefano directly that it came from her son, but she may go back and say, hey, I'm hearing that word on the street is that, you know, you the one who killed Unique. I know you didn't kill him, but I just want to put you up on this because people spreading this around the streets. And when Stefano asks her, well, who said this to you? Um, she might end up saying, well, you know, one of my sources in the street said it. You know, I'm not a snitch. I'm not giving up my sources. But because we are friends and we have a business relationship. Well, that's why I'm telling you this. And so with her sharing that precious information with stefano that's why when she go back and tell stefano that kanan been kidnapped by ronnie stefano is like okay you scratch my back by giving me that information so now i'm gonna scratch yours by loaning you this bread look i need you to throw me some cash stefano you know i loaned this large i'm gonna have to lay a pretty heavy vig on it i understand hope your son knows how much you love him. Now, this clip right here is proof that Rock will share intimate details with Stefano. Even though they didn't show on the screen her telling him that his her son was kidnapped, Kanan, Stefano saying, I hope your son knows how much you love him, lets us know that she told him that he was kidnapped. This also lets us know how comfortable Rock is with Stefano. You don't just go to somebody and ask them for $500,000 and tell them your son missing if you don't feel like y'all have a pretty good relationship, a great relationship, and you feel like you can share anything with them without it getting out or without them trying to use it against you later. Put him down, have him Italian, 
Burn him so you could take all his wife? So I played this clip again so we can establish that it's the daytime right now. So two things could have happened. Rock could have went directly from this meeting and talked to Stefano and let him know what Kanan was saying and maybe even asked him for advice on how to deal with it. Yo, how can I get my son to believe me? That's something I didn't do. You know how I rock with Neek. You kidnapped us. You saw us together. You know I rock with Neek. So why would I do something like that to him? And Stefano probably told her, you know what? Let me think on it. But in the back of his mind, he already knew. He knew where Unique was. He can get in touch with him because he the one who helped Unique recover. He let Unique lay low. He gave Unique protection, right? So what ends up happening is during the daytime, sometime after Rock talked to Kanan and then after Rock went and talked to Stefano, Stefano sent Breeze, a.k.a. Unique, over there to talk to Kanan. And Kanan was like, Dag, Ronnie did his own brother like that? And then Unique, a.k.a. Breeze, told him, listen, you got to take this guy out. You can't afford to have this happen. And Unique, Kanan had to take into account that he just got in a heated argument with Ronnie because Ronnie tried to kill his mama. Now he got to deal with the fact that Ronnie tried to kill his brother and he lied to him about it. You know, Kanan hate to be lied to. And when Ronnie lied to him, that make him feel like he can't trust him. And guess what? He put him right in the seat with Rock. Yo, I can't trust her and I definitely can't trust you. If you will try to kill my mama after I told you leave my family alone, you will try to kill your brother and then lie to me about it. And Unique ran down a plan to him. Yo, I'm going to need you to go to Ronnie and I'm going to need you to tell Ronnie that you're going to help him get some work because his connect just died. Unique either know Ronnie Connect just died because Kanan told him or because Stefano told him. He said, but y'all just got into it in front of Snaps and Pops, so you can't make it seem like it's all sweet and about him because he not going to fall for that. What you got to do is tell him he could have to work, but you need some money for yourself. You need some money so you can get some independence and not have to be up under rock no more. And then y'all can be pushing weight and have money and y'all going to have the streets on lock. But... And this is unique talking. Remind y'all, the whole time I'm talking this part, this is unique talking. Um, then he say, but when Rock come in there with the money, because she your mama, you know she going to go get the money. She love you, bro. I know she love you. I've been talking to her about you. Get comfortable in here. Well, ain't nobody getting comfortable in my house but me and Kanan. If you ever come around me. I was up with and Kane. And he probably let him know that he was rocking with Rock. I don't know in what capacity, but he gonna tell him, obviously, that me and your mom been real tight or cool because he gotta convince him that she didn't do that to him, right? So then Unique, aka Breeze, tell him, yo, just have her throw Ronnie the money. And once Ronnie paying attention to the money, he reached down and get it. That's when you pull your gun out and you kill Ronnie. And after they had that conversation, Unique, a.k.a. Breeze, walked down the stairs and he walked down the stairs as Crystal is coming back in the house. And that's why we see Crystal with the black and red jacket. She don't pay no attention to him because she don't know who he is. She's never met him. She's only been around Kanan at the dance studio. And since Unique has been gone recovering, he haven't been around. And it would be no reason for Kanan to talk about Unique to crystal so that's why she just walking past him like she don't know who he is because she don't know who he is so how do we get to the point where unique is standing in the warehouse we got two options and two options could have possibly both happened right Kanan could have told Unique, yo, I'm down to do the plan, but I still don't trust my mom, so I want you to be there in case something go wrong. That's one side of the theory. Now, the second side of the theory, which can also go simultaneously with the first side of the theory, is Unique go back to Stefano and tell Stefano, yo, I got the plan set up, hook, line, and sinker. We finna get Ronnie off the street. And Ronnie is competition, essentially, and Ronnie is bad for business. Anytime you're trying to run a drug trade, bodies is bad for business. I've seen neighborhoods where those guys was getting money for years and years and years. And then bodies start popping up, and within six months, that whole organization brought down. So Stefano actually 
um, will be invested in wanting to do this. And also, Unique will be invested in wanting to do this. One, Ronnie tried to kill him. Two, he want that territory back. And there's one other thing I want to make clear. After Stefano loaned her $500,000, he won't breeze to go there to make sure that if Ronnie turn on everybody, he can at least get his $500,000 back. A guy like Stefano not just taking a loss on $500,000 and he not just giving somebody $500,000 without a little extra security to go along with it. Be comfortable, man. Well, ain't nobody getting comfortable in my house but me and Kana. If you ever come around again. Wow, what's up with you and Kenny? Now, Rock and Unique been pillow talking. Unique felt comfortable enough with Rock to let her in and say, hey, I'm going to get some work from the Italians. I'm going to try to go have a meeting with Stefano. Now, you got to remember, by episode 10, Rock is back in the dope game. Why did she get back in the dope game? Because her money was tied up in that building, and her money was tied up in her house, and her money was tied up in the work that she brought to put on the streets. So, Unique would have knew that she didn't have that liquid. She ain't got that cash sitting around. Between the mall and... What I put into my house, it more than covers where you be from me. Rock, which I think would have told Unique this the whole time they was dealing with each other behind closed doors. So my guess is Unique prepped Stefano. Yo, Rock ain't got no friends out here in the street. She the only one that she really messing with right now. And you her only lifeline. She probably gonna come to you to try to borrow some money. She probably gonna come to you to try to borrow $500,000. Okay. Okay. I'll have to money delivered within the hour thank you Stefano is a businessman, right? So to me, I don't think he would just have 500,000 laying around either, but he would have 500,000 laying around if he already knew the plan that she was going to possibly come to him for that money because she don't have anybody else. I don't know about y'all, but how long do you think it would take to count $500,000 in the 90s? and then deliver the money to where it need to go. That would tell me only an hour, I would be thinking that he already got the money counted out, put to the side and ready to go where it need to go. One more thing about the crystal scene, I believe that that scene was supposed to be in there, but when that picture leaked, the writers decided, hey, we might as well just take that out because that gives away more of the plot line. We can just have it even more suspense and make it be more spectacular if we just have Breeze pop up at the end. That'll be way better for the show. And it was because we were all in anticipation. Breeze is back. Unique is back. So when we saw that picture get leaked, we just knowing, okay, when we see him, we know he going to be with Kanan. We know he going to come out there. So a lot of us was watching the show waiting to see that and it gave us so much anticipation and when we never saw it we like man breeze not wait that's breeze right there as soon as we saw the timberland pop up don't forget to check out my original crime drama the barbetti family the barbetti family is the first black italian chicago crime syndicate they started in milan italy in 1920 and migrated their way to the states to take over the streets of chicago Thanks for listening to today's breakdown of Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. If you like what you heard, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. For more exclusive content and photos, go to Facebook and join Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. I'm Fairplay2333. This is Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. And salute to all my cinema cronies.